Hello, this is Barry. You're watching Barry and the PI. Uh, I want to thank all of my new subscribers for uh, welcoming you to my channel. I uh, appreciate it, and I hope uh, you will continue watching. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages of buying yourself an automobile when you get here. Uh, so you do have to have a permanent residency visa, either a 13A, I think it's called, or the RSS fee. Uh, SRV, <laughs> uh, which is a permanent residence for people that meet the, the requirements. I'm out here, back out by the waterfall, and uh, it's a cloudy day. I'm not sure if we're gonna get some rain. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain until I finish this. Well, uh, we bought, bought, when we first moved here, and bought this house and was still being worked on and uh, we decided to go and look around for uh, hopefully a pickup. That's what I wanted. So we went to Toyota, uh, ended up in Santa Rosa Toyota dealer and uh, they had the the truck of my dreams. Uh, and because we, we were going to pay cash for it, we got a little bit of discount from that. And they got to also throw in a backup camera and some uh, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, uh, that plastic thing fits in the bed of the of the back of the pickup. So that was good. And we immediately put it to use because uh, the volcano erupted and uh, my son-in-law who worked for the transportation department, uh, he used my truck to go buy a bunch of uh, rice, big bags of rice and um, he distributed those to the evacuation centers for all the people that had to evacuate their homes in the, inside the volcano area, the lake area. Uh, and uh, then the, the uh, pandemic hit and quarantine started and so we had a couple of guys get up here and take down all of our jackfruit that were growing at the time. There was a whole bunch of them too. And we loaded it up and took it over for the uh, uh, frontliners on the, that had to amend the uh, checkpoints. And so they, they had some good fruit to eat. So those were the advantages of it. Just being able to go someplace, uh, uh, not worry about how you're gonna get there. That's an advantage. Uh, disadvantages. Well, you have to maintain that truck and that's not always easy to do. You have a long drive over to the dealer and then it takes them about a day or two to get whatever you need done done uh, and uh, and now uh, the uh, price of gas has gone up uh, cost has gone up in operating that, that uh, vehicle and uh, Probably number one is the traffic. 
you don't get anywhere quick in the Philippines. Uh, we've taken uh, several trips. Uh, one to Samar for Maida's mother's birthday. Uh, at that time, we, we rented, uh, hired a guy to take us there in the van because we had like 13 people with us or something. And, uh, and traffic is just slow. You've got uh, the big trucks, you got the smaller trucks, the box trucks, you've got uh, motorcycles and trikes all faring and you've got uh, jeepneys all over the place and then you've got little kids walking alongside the road sometimes darting out into the road you got dogs and cats that sometimes dart out in some of the road uh, Maida came home upset the other day because she hit a dog that just ran out the front, right in front of her with no chance to stop. Uh, so that upset her. And then we've got uh, cows, carabao, uh, chickens everywhere. Uh, and also pretty uh, Filipinas walking along the road too. It's very distracting if you're driving. And I've uh, you got bicycles to it's just all kinds of stuff along the road. And uh, that's why I, I came close to hitting a guy on the back the last time I drove and I said maybe I shouldn't be driving. So now I, I let Maida drive me or one of our friends will drive, Filipino friends will drive. No. Pepper. Pepper making a video. Uh, so those are the disadvantages of driving. And it's, it's, sometimes you'll have four or five lanes of vehicles trying to get into a narrow two-lane road. And uh, so it, it's just crazy out there. So, I, so for me, I I don't drive. And I know there's some of you that uh, have a car but don't drive it, you let your wife drive it. And that's probably a good, good thing to do. Uh, but that's uh, one thing. Uh, insurance is fairly cheap. And it's like one payment a year. Uh, and uh, but you should make sure and you need you get your registrar registered each year. They don't send you a notice. You have to know when to do it. Uh, there's no sending out notices like in, in the U.S. where you just wait for it to come and, ah, you know, oh, it's time for re to re-register. <laughs> They don't do that here. So, uh, I'm going to say I'm not going to drive anymore. And Mida, she can drive pretty good, pretty well. So I, I just let her drive and I can look at the pretty girls along the road. Well, that's about it. I hope this uh, uh, helps you in deciding whether to get a car or just, I mean, you can get around the Philippines 
by track, jeepneys, buses, ferries, airplanes. Uh, you can get along just well, uh, well, and it's not that expensive too. Uh, so y'all take care. And uh, again, thanks to my new subscribers. Uh, please tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your, your pa, tell your ma, tell your friend in Arkansas, watch Barry in the P.I. And so y'all stay safe. Have a great day. It's wonderful out here. It's nice and cool. Uh, sun's not out. And uh, I'm just enjoying it. No, might as well show you my how my angels' trumpets are doing. Uh, they're doing pretty good. All right. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your pets, and help your neighbors when you can. And we'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully.